I respond to those characters that are very complicated and that are fighting their inner demons more than having just an outside antagonist. I think that is something that I'm drawn to. What was it about uh, Amy Lipkoff's story that first uh, inspired you and made you want to be part of the film? Yeah, you know, when I read the book, It was I, it was so moving to me how internal this process was about recovering, how honest she was. It was so brutal at times, but it was really very personal and very intimate at the same time. And I read it already knowing that Cersei would star in it. So I had sort of, I read the book of Cersei in my mind and I went on this trip to the end of the world, the amazing Orkney Islands. And it's like, how can I not make this movie, you know? Um, speaking of Sir, so she's also a producer on the film. Yes. Well. What do you think it is about her that added that special quality to Amy, like makes her, you know, Rona? It's it's her cinematic magic, you know, which can't be really defined. It's just some people are so talented, and they are just made to be in front of the camera because Rona is a role that has to carry the film from the beginning to the end. Half the film is just her on a remote island, you know? And there are very few people who can carry that, you know, pressure with such a beautiful presence. And um, so it's just wonderful to work with and not afraid to go into extreme places. So yeah, I'm very, life is very easy when you have good actors, you know? I'm very blessed. Very true. And of course, uh, location is so important. Yes. How did you ensure that you guys had the right location for you to bring that to life? Well, we just filmed in the original locations. It was quite easy because we wanted to make a film as truthful as possible to Amy's book. And we ended up, you know, shooting on her farm where she grew up and in her dad's caravan on those real places on the Orkney Islands, which are stunning, in the cottage where she spent two winters riding the outworn. So, yeah, <laughs> it just had to be that original location. Um, your previous film, The Unforgivable, was very well received as well. Um, both have you know, three minutes as complicated women at the center. Is that something that you like to bring forth in your films? Are you looking at to center women as much as possible? It's not a conscious choice, you know. These roles sort of find me, you know. Both projects came to me and I respond to those characters that are very complicated and that are fighting their inner demons more than having just an outside antagonist. I think that is something that I'm drawn to, you know. No matter if male or female, but I do think it's closer to me to have a female lead because that's my perspective on the world. And we thank you for it. Thank you, thank you so much. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.